So I made a new chassis that I designed in Fusion and then printed at home on a guider too. And then once I got the design finalized, I, I sent it off to Shapeways. And the main idea is I wanted the chassis to have a removable battery. I wanted to still have access to the SD card and USB port. I wanted an LED screen. And I wanted it to be removable because I wanted um, to have one electronics module for all of my sabers. So I'll show you what that looks like. Um, so here's uh, an ASP part that I've got um, a connector built into and then the NeoPixel connector. Uh, so we'll pick a emitter, get that screwed on. And then this plugs in and the, the board using the tangible font, the tangible ID system uh, recognizes up to 16 different sabers. So each of the sabers can have a unique font, the sounds and the color and the blade, blade profile. Um, so each of the sabers has a unique feel to it their unique identity. And one of the other design considerations that I had is I wanted to make sure that this was going to work across a large variety of designs. So, um, like cross guards and thin neck emitters and that kind of thing. So I've got an ASP thin neck emitter here that I've got a connector in that passes through the data for the NeoPixel or a cross guard. And so I can plug this in. Um, to, now this switch section is set up to recognize that I want to use unstable effects and cross guards. Um, so I can screw this on. So you saw it when I plugged it in, it, it loaded a different font, my unhinged font that I use for the um, unstable effects. And cross guards. It's a nice font that I got off of Saber fonts. And since the CFX has a override, a font specific override, I can enable and disable the Trident delayed ignition. I'll try to get this connected quickly. Um, so sabers that I want to be recognized as cross guards can be cross guards and have the delayed ignition and sabers that shouldn't be a cross guard don't have a delayed ignition. So you saw that one had a different color, a different shade of blue um, and the delayed ignition and the unstable effects. Another thing that I wanted to um, to do was to make sure that this was going to be compatible with um, other sabers of different inner diameters. So in this case, um, this is one of my um, custom sabers that's based off of the modular hilt system. So I've got this decorative spacer here that slides in um, just like this. And that adapts it to the different inner diameter. So plug that in. 
And this is using, I've got a pin that has a connection to the secondary NeoPixel data strip line um, so that it can light up the uh, NeoPixel strip here. Eventually I'll have that um, be uh, the NeoPixel accent sequencer, but right now it's just mimicking the main blade. And then I wanted to also make sure that it would be compatible with a, a replica um, flash handle. sensing the motion sensing for the CFX is very nice um, I had thought that maybe I was going to need um, overrides for the motion sensor or the motion um, settings for each of my di different sabers but actually ended up being uh, a non-issue that it detects motion very well regardless of how it's positioned in the saber so that's been really nice but the options there if I need it so each of the each of the sabers ha can have all of its settings overridden to give it its own uh, unique identity so that's my custom chassis that I've made. It tears down nice and easy. Thanks for watching.